Hello everybody. Today we are going to work on another set of dip thongs. A dip thong is a vowel team that's made up of one or more vowels and sometimes even consonants will team up with vowels to make a dip thong. But it doesn't make a usual vowel sound. It makes an unusual vowel sound, so it's not a normal long or short vowel sound that they make. We already did the diphthongs that made the uh sound, like O-U-L and O-O. -O. Today, we're going to work on the diphthongs that make the oi sound. O-I and O-Y can both make the oi sound. We're going to be orthographic mapping these words, so you need to do this along with me. Print out this worksheet. There'll be a link in the description to where you can print this out. Get you a plastic covering, whether it be a sandwich bag or a plastic uh, sheet that you can stick it inside of, or I have plexiglass laid down over mine. You need to get some type of beads or play-doh or something that you can use to mark out the sounds of the word. And you need a dry erase marker and something to wipe off with. You need something, some kind of little toy that, you, that makes a sound, whether it be one of these or one of these that you can map the sounds out of the words and then we're going to tap as well so if you want to get something fun to stick on your hand while you do the tapping you can do that too that's up to you whatever you're comfortable with and whatever you find to be fun so our first word is noise noise a noise is like a loud sound that you hear. Noise. Mm, oise. Mm, oise. Noise. Mm, oi. Get that fixed. Okay. Mm, oi. Three sounds. Mm, oise. Mm, oi, s. What makes the n mm sound? N makes the n mm sound. N, mm, oi, oi is our diphthong that is o i. O i is a diphthong. It's also called a vowel team, but it's not a normal vowel team. It's a vowel team that makes a strange vowel sound. So, oi is a diphthong. N, oi, s. What makes the s sound? S. And what else are we? Is that, does that look right? No. So, we're missing something in noise. Noise ends with an E. Now, this isn't a magic E, and we don't hear it. So, this E is not making this vowel sound say its name, like it would in some other words if it were doing its magic E function, but it's not. And you can't hear this E either. So this is the part you're going to have to learn by heart. This silent E. It is not doing the function of a magic E, and you also can't hear it. So we're just going to have to remember that that E is there. So we squeezed it into the box with the S because you can't hear it. And if you can't hear it, it doesn't get its own box. Just like O I is in one box because it makes one sound. Mm, oi, s. It just can't hear the E. Mm, oi, s. Mm, oi, s. Noise. 
Now we're going to write it out in our lines, nice and neat. Mm. And we're going to start with a capital just to get practice with our capitals. We don't want to just write lowercase all the time and forget how to write our capitals. So we're going to start each word out here with a capital so we can get practice. Mm. Oi. And then this is the part you're just going to have to remember by heart is that E that is not doing its job. It's not being magic and you can't hear it. Mm. Oi is our diphthong. S. And then the E. Mm, ois. Mm, ois. Mm, ois. Noise. That one was a tricky one. She did a good job. Our next word is moist. If something uh, is a little bit wet, not drenched in water, but just a little bit wet, then it's moist. You can moisten a cloth if you dip it in water and then wring it out. Moist. People also will call a cake moist if it's not dried out. Moist. Mm, moist. Mm, Oi, four sounds. Mm, oist. Mm, oi, st. Mm, is the M. Oi, oi is our diphthong. O I. Oist. This is our diphthong O I. Mm, oist. Mm, oist. Moist. Now we're going to start out with a capital just to practice. Mm. Oi. Moist. Good job. Our next word is joint. Joint. My wrist has a joint in it. My elbow has a joint too. My fingers have lots of joints. That's where they bend. Joint. 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 Four sounds. J. J. Oi. Oi is our diphthong. Oh, ah, mm. is an N, and t, t is a T. J oi n t, j oi n t, joint. Capital J. Oi. There's our diphthong. J oi n t. J oi n t. Joint. Good job. Our next word is poise. Poise. P oise. P oise. Oys, p oys, three sounds. P oys, 
poise. P, p. Oi. That's our diphthong. Oi. S. Now, this isn't, uh, does this look right? It's not right because we're missing something. We are missing the same thing we were missing in the word noise. We're missing an E here. But this E isn't being magical because it's not making this OI say a long sound. It's still saying OI because it's a diphthong and it makes a strange sound OI. So it's not being magic and you can't hear it. So it's just there. So this is the part you got to learn by heart is that there is an E on the end of poise. P oi s. We can hear everything except the E. You can't hear it and it's not doing its job. So capital P. P oi. And then this is the part you got to learn by heart. This is E. P -oy -s. And this doesn't make any sound. P -oy -s. P -oy -s. Poise. Dancers and ballet have good poise. They have good posture, uh, balance, and grace. So they're they have good poise if you watch a ballerina dance. Good job. Our next word is soil. Soil. Soil is dirt. Really good planting dirt that grows, that will allow you to grow vegetables and flowers and all kinds of things. Soil. Soil. It can also mean to that you have you got dirty. You have soiled yourself. You soiled your clothes. You got them dirty. Soil. Spoil. 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 Three sounds. Spoil. Oi, there's our diphthong. Ul, soy, ul, soy, ul, soil. Capital S, oi, there's our diphthong. Ul, soy, ul, soy, ul, soil. Good job. Our next word is oink. Oink. A pig makes the oink sound. Oink. It goes oink, oink, oink. 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 Three sounds. Oink. Oi. Oi is our diphthong. So you can start out a word with a diphthong too. Oi. Mm. Oi. Mm. Oink. Now, how do we know that this final k sound is a K and not a CK? Because of our milk truck rule. If we want to remember that, if you don't know what it is and you haven't seen that video, Go back and watch the milk truck rule. It's because this k sound is preceded by a n, mm, not a short vowel. If this was a short vowel before the k sound, then this would be a ck making the k sound, but it's not. Because like in milk, L is preceding the k sound, and that's not a short vowel, just like N is not a short vowel. That's why this is spelt with a K 
and not a CK, and not a C. Oink, oink. Oi. Mm. There's our diphthong. Mm Oi. Mm Oi. Mm Oink. Good job. Our next word is oil. Oil. Oil is something we put in our lamps to burn lamps. Uh, we use it as fuel. Um, it can be uh, used to make gas. Uh, it's also, it's in a lot of things actually. It's in makeup. It's in all kinds of things, all kinds of products. Oil. Oil. Oi. Oil. Oi. Oil. Oi, ul. Two sounds. Oi, ul. Oi. We start out with our diphthong. Ul. It's just a nail. Oi, ul. Oil. Oi, ul. There's our diphthong and just a regular old L. Oi, ol, oi, ol, oil. If you struck oil, then there's black liquid coming out of the ground. You're gonna make a lot of money off oil. Good job. Our next word is boil. Boil. If you put water in a pot uh, and set it up on a high temperature, it will boil and you can cook things in the boiling water. Boil. B oi ol. B oi ol. B oi ol. Three sounds. B oi ol. B. B. And remember, if you don't know which way a B and D goes, if it confuses you, go back and watch the left and right video, and you'll learn the little hand trick. It'll teach you how to know which direction B's and P's and Q's and L's and J's go. B, B, OI. There's our diphthong. Ul, Ul, B. Oi, ol, b, oi, ol, boil. Capital B, b, oi, ol. There's our diphthong. B, oi, ol, b, oi, ol, boil. Good job. Our next word is coil. Coil. <clears throat> a coil is a like a piece of metal that you have wrapped into a coil. It's a spiral that goes round and round and round. Coil. Oop, let's do this first. Got to tap it out first. K oi ol. K oi ol. K oi ol. Three sounds. K oi. Ol. K, k. Now, how do we know what the k sound is? It could be a, it could be a k, it could be a c. Let's move on first and come back to that k sound. Oi, oi. There's our diphthong. Ol. Now, how do we figure out what the k? sound is, whether it's a C or K, with our kiss the cat rule. If the K sound is followed by an E, I, or Y, then the K sound is made with a K. Is this an E, I, or Y? No, it's an O, I, making an OI sound. So it has to be a C, 
That's making the k sound in coil. K, oi, o, k, oi, o, coil. Capital C, oi, o, k, oi, o, coil. And this is our diphthong. Good job. Our next word is void. Void. Void means something isn't valid anymore. Uh, if you have a coupon uh, for a discount off something and the seller tells you it's void, you can't use that coupon because it's no good anymore. It, it can also mean a big empty space. If I'm out in a void, it's just a big empty space. There's nothing in it. <coughs> void. 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 Three sounds. Void. Void. There's a diphthong. D. And remember, a D goes the other way. So if you don't remember, go back and watch the video left and right. V oid. There's our diphthong. Capital V. Oi. D. V oid. V oid. Void. Good job. Our next word is foil. Foil. Uh, foil is like aluminum foil is shiny, thin, paper-like material that you can wrap things in. Um, some people use foil to make crafts with because it's shiny and you can fold it and manipulate it into different shapes. Or if somebody says their plans have been foiled, it means that their plans have been messed up. They can't do what they were planning on doing because it's been foiled. Foil. Oi o. Oi o. Oi o. Three sounds. Oi o. is an F. Oi is our diphthong. O is an L. Oi, O. Oi, O. Foil. Capital F. Oi. O. Oi, O. Oi, O. Oi, O. Foil. Good job. Our next word is point. That's easy. I'm pointing over there with my finger. Point. Point. Or if you're a ballerina and you go up on your toes on point shoes, that's point too. Point shoes. Point. 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 Oi, n, t, four sounds. P, oi, n, t. P, oi, there's our diphthong. N, t. P, oi, n, t. P, oi, n, t. Point. Oi, n, t. There's our diphthong. P, oi, n, t. P, oi, n, t. Point. Good job. Our next word is coin. Coin. A coin is uh, metal 
money, little individual quarters, nickels, dimes that you use to pay for things. Coin. 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 Oi. Mm. Oi. Mm. Three sounds. Oi. Mm. Now we don't know what's making the k sound. It could be two things. So let's move on. Oi. Oi is O I. Because it's our diphthong. N is an N. So. Kiss the cat rule says if the k sound is followed by an E, I, or Y, then the k sound is a K. Is this an E, I, or Y? No, it's an O. So that means this is a C, making the k sound. K oin, k oin, k oin, coin. Capital C, k oi. Mm. There's our diphthong. Coin. 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 Good job. Our next word is join. Join. If there's a club I like, I want to join it. It means I want to take part in it. I want to be one of its members. Join. Or if I joined two things together, and if I glued these two things together, then I would have joined them together. Join. 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 Mm. There's our diphthong. J oi. Mm. J oi. Mm. Join. J oi. Mm. There's our diphthong. J oi. Mm. J oi. Mm. Join. Good job. Our next word is spoil. Spoil. If you leave the milk out on the counter all night, it's going to spoil, which means it's going to go bad. So we always want to keep the cold things in the refrigerator so they don't spoil. 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 Four sounds. Oi, oh. Oi, oh. There's our diphthong. Sp, oi, oh. Sp, oi, oh. Spoil. Capital S. Oi, ol. There's our diphthong. Sp, oi, ol. Sp, oi, ol. Spoil. Good job. Our next word is toil. Uh, if I'm toiling over something, I'm putting a lot of effort into it. If I'm toiling over getting the house cleaned, I'm putting a whole lot of effort into trying to get the house straightened up. Toil. T-oi-ol. 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 Three sounds. T-oi-ol. T-oi-ol. Ol. T oi ol. Toil. Capital T. T oi ol. Here's our diphthong. T 
oi ol, t oi ol, toil. Good job. That was the last of our OI words that make the oi sound. Now we're going to look at words that also make the oi sound but with the O Y letters. So these are words that use O Y to make oi sound. Our first word is boy. Boy. The opposite of girl is boy. B oi. B oi. B oi. Two sounds. B oi. B oi. Here's our diphthong, our O Y oi diphthong. B oi. B oi. Boy. Capital B. B oi. B oi. There's a diphthong. B oi. B oi. Boy. Good job. Our next word is toy. Kids like to play with toys. They're just anything that's fun to play with can be made into a toy. T oi. T oi. T oi. Two sounds. T oi. Oi. There's our diphthong. T oi. T oi. Toy. T oi. T oi. T oi. Toy. Good job. The next word is joy. If I'm happy, I have joy in my life. Joy. J oi j oi j oi j oi two sounds j oi there's our diphthong j oi j oi joy j oi there's our diphthong. J oi, J oi, joy. Good job. Soy. Soy like soy milk. It's made of soy beans. Soy. Or you can have a soybean burger that's got beans in it instead of meat. Soy. Oi, 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 oi. There's our diphthong. Oi, oi, so, oi. There's our diphthong. Oi, soy, soy. Good job. Our next word is ahoy. Ahoy. It's what sailors say. Ship ahoy. Ahoy. Ah, oi. Ah. Oi. Uh. Oi. Three sounds. Uh. Oi. Uh. Uh is actually ah. Ah. I guess you were going to pronounce it phonetically correct. It should be ahoy. But people say Ahoy! Ahoy there, matey! Ahoy! It's a greeting, like, how are you doing? 
but this is actually a schwa sound, which is a lazy way of saying a vowel. So ahoy starts with an A, uh, but it's not quite a, ah, it's making its schwa sound, uh. We'll talk about schwa's a little later, but for now, ahoy starts with an A, uh, oi, oi. This is our diphthong, uh, oi, uh, oi, or if we're gonna be phonetic, phonetically correct, it'd be ah, oi, ahoy, ahoy. Uh, oi. There's our diphthong. Ah, oi, ah, oi, ahoy, ahoy, matey. How's it going? Are you having a good day? I hope so. Good job. Our next word is ploy, ploy. A ploy is like a scheme to come up with a way to get what you want. So if you say, if you tell your mom, you know, I heard that cookies were actually healthy for you, then she might say, is this a ploy so that I can give you a cookie? Ploy. 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 Oi. Three sounds. Oh, oi. P. Oh, oi. Here's our diphthong. P. Oh, oi. P. Oh, oi. Ploy. P. Oh, oi. Here's our diphthong. Oi, oi, ploy. Good job. Our next word is alloy. Alloy. An alloy is two different metals merged together to make a new metal. Like copper uh, is two different metals melted together to make a new metal. You'll learn about that in science class. Alloy. A o oi, a o oi, a o oi. Three sounds. A o oi. A. We know that's an a, short a sound. O oi. Oi is our diphthong. O y. But is that right? No, that's not right, because this is actually a double L, an alloy. Alloy has two L's. And if we go back and look at our floss rule, uh, you will know why we have a double L. Because the floss rule says that if a short vowel is followed by a Z, F, L, or S, then that consonant is doubled. That's the floss rule. Now if you want to go back and watch our video on the floss rule, we'll go into more detail. But this is why alloy has two L's. Alloy. Alloy. Now if you want to know why the A makes a short sound A instead of the long sound A, it's because of the syllable division. Alloy is two syllables. Al, oi, al, oi. And our syllab syllable division rules with double consonants is it divides right down between the two consonants. Here's our first syllable, here's our second syllable. And if you know your open and close rules, a vowel that is closed in by a consonant makes it short sound. If this L wasn't there, and it was only an A, it would make long sound A, but it doesn't. 
We divide it between the two syllables. This L goes along with this A, which is why the A is a short sound and not a long sound. A -l -oy, and that's our diphthong. A -l -oy, alloy. A Alloy. 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 Good job. Our next word is coy. Coy. Coy means shy. If you're saying she's coy, oh, well, she's shy. She might not like to talk or be around a lot of people. Coy. 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 Oy, two sounds. K oy. Our first sound is k, and we don't know what it is yet because a k could be a c and it could be a k. So let's move on to the second sound. Oy. Oy is o y. That's our diphthong. Oy. So what's our kiss the cat rule with a k sound at the beginning of a word? If the next vowel is an E, I, or Y, then the K sound is a K. But this is not an E, I, or Y, it's an O, so the K sound is a C. K, oi, K, oi, koi. K, oi. There's our diphthong. K, oi, K, oi, koi. Good job. Our next word is destroy. Destroy. If you destroy something, you've ruined it. You've ripped it apart. It doesn't work anymore because you've smashed it. Destroy. D -e -st -r -oy. D -e -st -r -oy. That's a lot of sounds. D -e -st -r -oy. One, two, three, four, five, six sounds. D -e -st -r -oy. D, D is D. E, we know it's a short E sound. D -e -s. It's an S. T, t is a T. D -e -s -t -r is an R. And then OI is our diphthong. O Y. That's our diphthong. D -e -s -t -r -oy. D -e -s -t -r -oy destroy. Now how do we know that this E is making short sound and not long sound? It's because of our syllable division rules. Destroy has two syllables. Destroy. Destroy. So we split the syllables. We've actually got, we got a vowel sound here and a vowel sound here. We know there's one vowel sound in each syllable. In between these two vowel sounds, we have three consonants. Now first, we gotta split the, when we have three consonants in the middle, we wanna split these two. This one goes this way for sure, and this one goes that way for sure. And generally, the middle one, if you have three, goes along to the right with that one. So we got des troy, and the division is right there. Des troy. Those are our two syllables. And in this syllable, the S is closing in the E, which is why it makes it short sound eh. If that S wasn't there, it would say D. 
it would make this long sound e d e is what it would sound like but it doesn't because there's an s there closing it in making an a eh sound d s t r o y destroy capital d goes the opposite direction of lowercase d d e Er, oi. There's our diphthong. D e s t er oi. Destroy. That's a huge word, but we conquered it. Good job. Our next word is decoy. Decoy. A Decoy is something that distracts you from the direction you're looking or whatever you're doing. It's a distraction. So if you're going duck hunting and you put a decoy, which is a fake duck out in the water, it can distract the ducks to make them focus on that fake duck so the hunters can get them while they're not paying attention to the hunters. Duck. Oi. D e k oi for sounds. D e k oi. D e k. And once again, we don't know if that's a K or a C with a k sound, so we we'll move on. Oi, oi is our diphthong, O-Y. Is this an E, I, or Y? No, it's an O, so we know the K sound is a C because of our kiss the cat rule. D, E, K, OI. And why is this a long sound E instead of a short sound E? Because syllable division, D, KOI. We split it right there because we only have one consonant between these two vowel sounds. And when we only have one between the two vowel sounds, we slide it to the right most times. Sometimes, on rare occasions, it'll slide to the left, but most of the time, it slides to the right. And in the case of decoy, it slides to the right because this E makes its long sound E because there's nothing over here to close it in. So it says it's E sound, not it's E sound. D E K OI. D E K OI. Decoy. Capital D goes the opposite direction of lowercase d. D E K OI. There's our diphthong. D E K OI. Decoy. Good job. Our next word is employ. Employ. If you employ somebody, that means they're working for you. You've given them a job. Employ. E m p o o i. E m p o o i. E m p o. Whoops. Oi. E m p o o i. Five sounds. E, m, p, o, oi. E, short E sound. E, m, p, p, o, oi. It's our diphthong. Makes a strange sound. Oi. E, m, p, o, oi. E, m, p, o, oi. How do we know E makes the A sound, not the E sound, especially when it's way over here? Because of our syllable division. Employ. Employ. Our syllable splits right between the M and the P. 
We've got three consonants in the center between these two vowel sounds. But when we have three, the two on the right generally both slide to the right, and the one on the left slides to the vowel on the left. The M closes in the E, which makes it short sound E. Eh. Employ. Employ. E. Eh. Mm. P. U. Oi. Here's our diphthong. E. M. P. U. Oi. E. M. P. U. Oi. Employ. Good job. Our next word is enjoy. Enjoy. If I'm enjoying something, I'm having fun. Enjoy. 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 Four sounds. Enjoy. E Short sound e e n n j j oi. That's our diphthong o y e n j oi e n j oi. Enjoy and once again enjoy two syllables. Splits between the N and the J, and because this N closes in this E, it makes it short sound E. Eh. E eh, N J Oi. Enjoy. E eh, N J Oi. That's our diphthong. E eh, N J Oi. Enjoy. Good job. This word is annoy, annoy. If you annoy somebody, you're bugging them. You're bothering them. Say, stop annoying me. You're making a sound that bothers me, so stop annoying me. Annoy. 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 A. Oops. A. N. Oi, three sounds. A, n, oi. A, it's a short sound, a, a, n, n, oi. Oi is our diphthong, o, y. That's our diphthong. But is that right? It doesn't look right. We're missing something. Annoy is actually spelt with two N's. And the reason is because of the rabbit rule. So this has two N's, not just one in annoy. The rabbit rule states that in a two syllable word with a consonant sound in the middle, Right after a short vowel sound, the middle consonant is doubled. So when it says VCV, that's vowel consonant vowel. So is this a vowel consonant vowel? A is a short vowel. Yes, A in annoy. That's a short vowel. Then you've got a consonant in the middle and another vowel sound, even though this is a diphthong. It's a strange vowel sound, but it's still a vowel sound. So we've got two vowels, consonant in the middle. This consonant gets doubled, two ends. So that is why annoy is spelled with two ends and not one. If you want to go back and watch the rabbit rule video to get more detail on that, you can. A n oi, a n oi, annoy. A n oi. There's our diphthong. A n oi, 
Annoy. Annoy. Good job. Our next word is royal. Royal. Uh, royalty is like kings and queens. So they are royal. Royal can also be the a shade of blue. Royal blue is a really deep blue. Royal. 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 Four sounds. Royal. Royal. Oi, there's our diphthong. Ah, ooh, royal, royal, royal. A is making it short sound ah because it's closed in by the L. Royal. Oi. There's our diphthong. Ah, ooh, royal, royal. Right, do you want to go to the royal ball like Cinderella? Royal. Good job. Our last word is oyster. Oyster. An oyster is something that some people like to eat. I'm not a fan of oysters myself, but they come out of the ocean or so there's some freshwater oysters. They're like a clam shell. So it's like a, a shell. It's got two hard shells that close in together. And when you open them up, there's meat inside. And sometimes if you're lucky, there's a pearl inside. But that's what an oyster is. Oyster. Oyster, oyster, oyster. Four sounds. Oyster, oy. That's our diphthong. O y, oy. Er. Now, if you've watched our bossy R video before, you'll know the er sound is er, not just r. If you just put the r there, then you'd be missing a vowel because oyster is two two syllables. Oy stir, oy stir. So you have to have a vowel in the second syllable. And that's E R, bossy R, making this E say er like a pirate. Oyster, oyster, oyster. Oy, st, er. That's one sound. Oy. Is one sound and er is one sound. St are individual sounds. Oy st er. Oy st er. Oyster. Good job. And that was all of our oy sound diphthongs for today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you later. Bye-bye.